Now let's have a look at refining the edges. In other words, blurring the edges of a circular image in Adobe Photoshop for iPad. Now there are a lot of limitations on Adobe Photoshop, not the least of which there is no grid lines. I haven't put them in yet and this makes it really difficult. However, I've cut a circle out and you can see that here and what we're aiming for is, let's try that one, I'll turn that off, you can see the blurred edges of it. Now that's really handy if you're putting it against something else and you just want that shape there. Now there's another attempt there and you can see on the right hand side I didn't quite get the circle of the or the ellipse in the correct position. So let's go back to our original. This is the one here. Now what I'll do to refine the edges of this, let's go to the ellipse tool, and the marquee ellipse. That's that one there. Now we've got a little circle on the bottom left hand corner there. I've got my thumb on that and it turns full white and you can see up the top right hand side select constrained from center. Now is it the center because you you really still got to find the center but it will draw a perfect ellipse. Now it's just to the right of her nose and up a little bit from memory. I'll pull that out there and you can see the ellipse coming out and it's not quite right it's off at the top and not circle at the bottom properly. I'll let the mouse, let the Apple Pencil go. I haven't got a mouse, Apple Pencil. Now we need to refine the edges, which is down here. Ah, oh, touched it, and of course it all goes away. So let's try that again, shall we? Right on the end of the girl's nose, in this case. And that's actually a better, a slightly better job lift my pencil off the screen, there's our circle, refine edges. Now we don't want to refine it by the marching ants, so I want to use black and white. And you can see it puts a black and white mask over it. Now I'm going to edge detection radius, I'm going to move that up to about, that's the other thing you can't do in here, you can't set those measurements exactly and you can see it's kind of splodgy around there. I'll smooth that out a little bit now by moving that up to about 61. Now I'll feather that and you can see once it gets to a certain point it really drops over. Now I want that really quite feathered. I'm going to contrast it a little bit so that brings it in just a little bit. Now, because I'm on an iPad mini, I've got to scroll up here a little bit. Now, I want to output this as a selection, as a new layer with mask. Now, that's ready to go, and we should have a nicely um, sorted... Well, it's not quite. Let's double tap that. And because we've got that on there, I can't um, do anything with that. We're back with the ellipse. We'll just go back to that and untap it. Okay, let's hide that one. We'll do that one. And we'll do that again. Hold the control key down. We're still on the circle mark. Now I'll bring that out right on the girl's nose, out to the edge, let it go, refine edge, oh, I didn't have, what's, what's going wrong here, there we go, select the layer, refine the edge, black and white, smooth it, we want to feather that considerably. Let's go for heavy duty feather and I'll leave it go at that this time. No other controls. Selection. New layer with mask. And done. Now there we go. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that layer there. 
delete layer, delete layer, that one there, delete layer, that one there, that's turned off you see, so if we turn that on that gives us our full image back, if we turn that off that's gone. Now that's not a very smooth edge. Let's turn that on. We'll turn that off and get rid of that one. Delete the layer. Now we're left with that one and the complete layer. So let's try it again. Okay. We want an ellipse, we want it from the center, which is right near that girl's nose. Let's drag that out to there, not quite to the edges, leave it go. Now I want to make that quite wide, so refine the edges, black on white the edge detection radius so we want to, you can see how that's roughening that up 88, 90, 90, 100, well there's 101 now that's quite rough, if the image was just behind that that would look quite patchy wouldn't it so let's feather that slightly smooth some of it out slightly a little contrasty take that up because I'm on an iPad mini and the new layer, that'll create a new layer with mask when I do this and that's done there we go now that's a nice randomized sort of refined edge if you like now that's got that bit done it's a pity that um, the Photoshop for iPad doesn't yet have guidelines or, or grid lines. It's really difficult to get the exact center of something like that circle and to put it in the center of the image. Okay, so refining the edges or transparency of edges in Adobe Photoshop for iPad. Now I should just mention while we're on the subject of this and I'm recording this that we've got our layer there and you can see it, it's got a white background. Now if I turn that white background off, that white background I created when I first set the thing up. Now if I turn on our, our layer with the refined edge you can see you've now got a background that's transparent. So I could put that just leave that just there like that. Now if I pull that in like that, you could put a background of any sort you like behind that. Now what have I got in the way of backgrounds? I know what I'll do. I'll generate a background. Let's just do a mark rectangle and put a mark rectangle behind this. This will actually put it over the top of it to start with, but I want to go with a generative fill and I'll put a jungle scene behind it. There we go, that's generating and you can see it's put it as the top layer. But of course, as you know by now, we can move that. Just leave it generate there for a moment. Generating, generating and almost there, 95%, 96, 97, 98, 99, not quite, 100. Now there's a nice jungle scene, lovely, but it's on top of everything else, so we just get hold of that and move it down. There we go. Now there's the girl we cut out, and you can actually see through the transparent edges of that, that it's um, put the girl 
sort of over the top of the jungle. So you can design all sorts of lovely things doing that. And it's a similar sort of thing. OK, now I hope that helps. So I won't continue this any longer because um, otherwise you'll get a little confused. Now you'll have to play around with that for fine, refine edges. The secret seems to be, let me put the tool back up there, go to there. Those edges, you can see that there, those edges that are in that image, don't take your circle right out to the edge of that image. There we go, and I'll just put that back, tap anywhere and that goes away. There we go. Thanks very much for watching. Another little exercise in using um, Adobe Photoshop for iPad. Remember that I mostly use Affinity Photo for iPad and I'm just doing a few of these Adobe Photoshop for iPad ones as a way of comparing and contrasting the two applications.